Hello Excel friends, this is Craig from Kershalton Advisory and we are on the fifth and final part of reviewing the practice tasks from section 1.2 of the Microsoft Office Specialist Excel Expert Exam Study Guide and Textbook. Let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do here is open the 1-2D workbook. I have it selected right here. I'm going to double click it to open it. And we are instructed to dismiss the circular reference warning. Okay. So what is happening with the circular reference, it's going to highlight it for me, is that Excel is trying to calculate the value of this cell. But what's happening is it, it's a feedback loop in that as it does a calculation, it it keeps changing because every time it calculates, it provides a, an alternative answer. And so basically, Excel gets caught in a loop. It gives you that warning to let you know that there's a circular reference and encourages you to fix it. So what we're going to do is change the calculation method to manual. So we need to go into the backstage view. We can do that by selecting File in the upper left or by hitting Alt-F. We're going to go down to Options, which is the last option on the the last one on the bottom left here, and I'm just going to hit the T key, and in here we're going to go into Formulas. So we've been instructed to take workbook calculation from automatic and put it into a manual mode. We've also been instructed to turn on iterative calculations. So that when we talked about Excel being in a calculation loop, this is going to say, all right, Excel, you can loop a hundred times in this case, and you can change that by uh, this formula here. After you've looped a hundred times, you're gonna you're gonna stop, and whatever answer you have at that point is gonna be sufficient. So we click OK here. Um, we are going to now select cell C6, which is the one that has the circular reference, and we're gonna manually calculate the formula result. So we can do that manually calculating by hitting F9. And now Excel actually gives us a value in this cell, whereas before it was refusing to. So it's gone through it 100 times. It says, all right, after that many attempts, we're going to stick with 9,091. So let's open up the results folder or the results file to see what they came up with. So we have one 2D results. And when we review it, we see that they have the same result of 9,091, which is what we have in our file here. So thanks for joining me here through the practice tasks of section 1.2. I'm hoping to get started on the practice tasks for section 2.1 here in the next couple days, and we'll be posting them to YouTube as soon as possible. So make sure you subscribe so you know when those arrive. And let me know if you have any comments in the comments section or by sending me a message. Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to working with you shortly.